I'm gonna get right into it, you guys. Somebody wrote wash me on my car today. But I don't understand. Like, how do they expect me to find them? <laughs> Just a little bit about me. I was born and raised in the town from Jesus Camp. And my girlfriend in high school wore a purity ring, you know, and it was her lifestyle, it was her decision, but it was basically a banner that told everyone around me that I wasn't having sex, which was terrible because nobody took me seriously as a rapper. My church could be pretty intense too. Uh, I remember when I was 13 years old, my youth group made us all write letters to our 18-year-old selves, pledging abstinence from sex until marriage. And if we stayed true to the pledge, we would get the letters back when we graduated high school. So on mine, I just wrote, kill yourself. <laughs> and I remember when I started masturbating. Oh my God. I didn't have any good visual aid. So I'd always have to sneak into my parents' room and use their Bible. You guys think the pages are hard to turn now. I, uh, I went to a very Christian school. And in the seventh grade, I was bullied for being gay. Now I'm not gay. And I told them that. But uh, like all of you, they didn't believe me. And I don't remember much about being bullied, but I remember one specific instance. I was eating lunch and this kid came up to me and he said, hey Grant, what did the straight guy say to the straight guy? I said, I don't know. And then he laughed and walked away. Now the most haunting thing about that memory is that that is really funny. <laughs> My school was so intense that they called the vice principals virtue principals. And I found out in eighth grade that if someone came out as gay, they would be kicked out of the school. And when I learned that, I came out immediately. <laughs> I uh, just started seeing this girl, and I'm a little nervous about it, because no one else can see her. <laughs> uh, I do actually have a girlfriend, though, and uh, I think we just took our relationship to the next level, because she got period blood on my sheets. And you guys, I learned that that is what it takes to get me to wash my sheets. <laughs> and call me crazy, but I actually like having sex with my girlfriend on her period. You know, things get hot and heavy. She says, hey Grant, before we go any further, I just wanna let you know I'm on my period. And I hear three things. One, it's more difficult for me to get pregnant. <laughs> Two, my vagina is more sensitive this time of month. Always helpful. And three, I taste like iron. <laughs> there is a reason they call me the vampire. My, uh... I'll let that one sit. I'm about to turn 25 years old. And that's freaking me out because that is the same age that my brother was when he got married. Which means that in six months, I'm gonna be the same age as my brother when he came out to his wife. <laughs> Remember, I'm from Jesus Camp Town. I'm gonna leave you guys with this. Somebody recently used the phrase, pussy's pussy bro, in reference to a woman. And I found that really disrespectful. Like, I regretted even asking why he married mom. <laughs> Thank you, guys.